welcome to my channel um, okay so we've had an update and this is a beta update so let's go to settings and you can see this screen here it looks different now it used to have just three things on it or was it two things anyway <clears throat> what they've done now is they've um, streamlined a couple of things so before I get into it let's go here to where we normally go to to the software and let's look at the release notes so this is beta 3.9 and it's called handedness and headlines thanks to improved palm rejection in left-handed mode you can now lean in when you take notes to sketch just like on a sheet of paper enjoy an elegant new font for your typed titles and we've also updated our settings page so what's new let's have a look at lefty's relief uh, relief so I'm actually going to go and change it. So if you come into settings, you go to accessibility and we change it to left-handed. Now, if we come out um, and we go into this uh, any document. Now, I've put this here specifically to remind me to tell you guys that I'm over in a different Facebook group. Um, Facebook closed the Remarkable for Beginners group, which was... Uh, was a shock and it was a very difficult few days and week for me last week um anyway moving on um i've i've i have another group which i've been posting good notes and one note stuff and i'm going to add remarkable to it and our focus is digital organization for beginners so if you want to find me ask me questions whatever you can find me over there uh, let me just show you left-handedness uh, i'm going to show you this in a minute let us add a page and just pretend I'm left-handed. I, I actually used to be more ambidextrous than I am now because I used to write with my left hand as a child as well as my right. So if we are left-handed, you can see that the problem that I've, I've read about this a lot in the Facebook groups is that when you're wanting to write, you, you, you accidentally, like I'm touching, now see how it just logged me out? But I, w I touched that several times and it didn't. So that's what they're saying. They're saying they've adjusted the palm rejection on here. So if you were accidentally, now <laughs> let's not oh talk about my writing. Ooh, let's see if I can do it. <laughs> okay, yep. You can see that if you're accidentally touching, I'm touching all the way, I'm trying to avoid it, but let's not avoid it. Let's tapping, tapping. I'm hitting the cross button right now and you can see there you go that's the first time oh wow i'm not quite sure where it's put me but anyway <laughs> oh, nothing like having a bit of fun so what they've done is improved the palm rejection around here so that if you're left-handed you can write and if you accidentally are touching that uh, that didn't log you out of the document and i've I've heard a lot of people say that it does. So again, if I'm leaning here and I'm going, yeah, it did that time, but I pressed pretty hard on it. Um, but yeah, I definitely, definitely have touched it more times than it's exited the document. So that is left-handedness. Let us hop out of there, come back to settings um, and go back into the release notes so we can see. So that's lefty's relief. Um, We'll come to sophisticated type in a second. In control, change language preferences in the same place as your personal account in a tidier settings menu. And so that is here, what I was referring to before. Excuse me. You can see that they've tidied up this settings menu. Now, when you're here in general, you can come here into language and keyboard, and this is now together. And you can choose the same or different language for these two areas because you used to have to go into two separate places to choose English for both, if that was what your choice was. So that's that one. And then the last one in this beta update, again, going back to release notes, is sophisticated type. Remarkable Serif is a new title font designed to add style and make your headlines stand out. So... That is the reason why you saw in this document here, I had a 
page. So what I'm going to do, just for those that don't know, I'm going to use the eraser pencil case. If you tap it twice, it gets you into more options. And I've become aware a lot of people don't realise about this pencil case. So I'm going to erase all. But you have other options. You can erase just whatever you touch or you can erase a selection of things. You can, you know, go around and outline something or you can erase the whole page. So just for those that didn't know that. And just a quick interruption to let you know that I'm doing one-to-one -one training on your Remarkable and you can get more information on my website. You'll see the link for one-to-one -one training um, for any of you that need extra help. All right. Oh, I need to change it back to right-handedness. So one, one down from the top and we're going to go back to accessibility and go right back out in here and here we are. Okay. So I just want to explain this first very quickly. Sans serif versus serif. Serif, sans serif, 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 however you're saying it. Um, so sans serif is when you have an L that's just, let's go thick. It's just an L and an I is just an I. Okay. A serif L has a little stroke on the bottom, may have a little stroke on the top. And the I would have a little stroke. And then the F may have a little, depending on um, the font that you're using. Um, oh, I don't know that there'd be one like that. But you could look, obviously, they create all sorts of um, variations. But they're your basic two types. Sans serif is normally used for digital print. It's no fuss, modern, clean, minimalistic. Doesn't have the serif sans means without that that word means without and the serif is a small line or decorative stroke so so that's like that little dash i put on there it's more readable that this is this is what they say about it this is more readable than that um it's more traditional it's normally used in printed books it's considered more formal so that's what we're talking about let me just get rid of that line there and now i will show you um Let's do it on this page. If I go to typed, and now if I type, let's type uppercase, um, hello, and then I'll return it. I will do an upper lower, a lower case, and I'm going to change this font style. Remember, this is your formatting menu here. If you tap on it, you will get the options of title, which is what we want, because I want to show you the lower case versions, which is good. And then if I type hello again, and I get, I put the subheading. And then if I type hello again, and I'll do, that's body, it's already put it in body text. Um, and as you know, I think we discussed this in the last video. Um, this one is a bullet point and they've got the beautiful check boxes. Now that's your formatting menu for what's available to you with the, with the keyboard on screen or the type folio but let's let's come back to here can you see the tiny little dashes i don't think let me close this oh yes let me show you i don't use my keyboard much here we go oh hang on look at that so you can see how the serif font comes up here and it comes up there and down here on the e and on the lowercase you can see that so it goes down there like that and it's got a little bottom on it and the E not much but it, again it does depend on what font because there's so many fonts that you're um, that are available to you and you know I'm on thick print right now which is why it doesn't look very pretty but you can see that's sort of that's the difference uh, let's that's I'm pulling this my zoom button I go back here you, you can sort of see the difference between that and this font here is, of course, the uh, sans serif, and that's the serif. Sans serif, serif. I can actually write on the typing. So that's that. If I go back up, it's very interesting. Hmm. That's interesting. Anyway, I don't. I won't digress. I will just stay on on course. Um, so that is 
it really um sorry i don't want to open my document drawer i want to close out come back to settings just to finish off by showing you the release notes so left-handedness um, they've improved the palm rejection there in control you can actually make those two settings changes together in the one place and sophisticated type you've now we've now got a new that's it there the new um a serif font for the heading it isn't for the body or the subheading or the paragraph it's just in the heading awesome all right well that's the beta 3.9 and for those that don't know if you want to sign up for it let me just come out you come into settings let's come back let's come back here you come menu settings you come here into your in general already you go into software and under advanced you can enroll in the beta program that's how you can do that and yes you can unenroll anytime i could unenroll now if i wanted to but i'm, I'm not going to do that but uh, you can enroll or unenroll anytime you like so thank you for watching any love on the channel would be greatly appreciated and watch out i've got some productivity tips and tricks coming some more good notes content and some more remarkable content coming too so thanks thanks for watching everyone bye